everybody, and welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Karen, and we're going to have stories today here at Arlington Public Library, and I'm so glad you could join me. I want to start with a hello song, and I'm going to sing the song in English, but I'm also going to use ASL. I'm going to show you some signs that people who can't hear well use uh, in America to, um, to talk with each other. So we're going to start, and the word's hello. It goes like this, hello. So it's just you put your hand up on your forehead and then you pull it away again, kind of like a soldier doing a salute, and that's hello. And then friends is like this, it goes like this, right? And so what you do is you take one finger and point it straight up and the other finger and point it straight up, and then you make them give each other a hug one way and they give each other a hug the other way. And then the rest of it is time to say and hello again. So it goes like this. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. So welcome. I'm so glad that you're here for stories today. We're going to do some stories uh, having to do with shapes and using your imagination. Yeah, because... Uh, you can make uh, any shape be almost anything you can imagine. And I'm going to show you how right now. But first, let's look at some shapes. Let's see. So this one, you know this one? This one is a square. Oops, I made it a little sideways. A square, right? Yeah. And then, so I'm going to show you all the shapes first, and then we'll do the story. Then we have this one. This one has three sides. And it's a triangle. That's right. Very good. This one, I bet everybody knows. Do you know this one? It's a circle. That's right. Very good. A circle. And this one is a little bit smaller, but still you can see it is, it's got four sides, but it's called a rectangle. Yeah, a rectangle. And it can be a rectangle that way, and it can be a rectangle that way. It doesn't matter. Still a rectangle. Yep. Okay, so I have a story. It's called a shape story. So, once upon a time, there was a blue square. And the blue square was pretty happy, but the blue square was kind of lonely. And then... One day, all of a sudden, pop, out of the sky appeared a red triangle and landed right on top of the blue square. Well, the triangle and the square got to know each other and they became very good friends. Then, one day, as they were just chatting as friends do, all of a sudden, pop, out of the sky fell a yellow circle and landed in the air right next to them and stayed there. They were so surprised that at first they didn't know what to say, but then they all introduced one another and became really good friends and the yellow circle just brightened up everyone's day. So, they all got to know one another and everything was going along fine. And then suddenly one day, plop, out of the sky, plop, fell two small orange squares and landed right on top of the red, uh, I mean, of the blue square. Now the blue square was kind of surprised, but they realized that the orange squares were also very nice, and so they all got to know one another, and they were very happy together. And everything went along as usual, until one day, suddenly, without any warning, plop, down from the sky fell a small brown rectangle. And before they even had a chance to introduce themselves and realize what was going on, plop, Along came another brown rectangle that was a little bit taller. One was on top of the blue square and one was next to it. 
So they all got to know one another and were living along very happily when suddenly out of the sky fell plop a green triangle. And the green triangle introduced itself and they all got to know one another. And suddenly they looked around and they realized they made a picture. You see, we have, uh -huh, that's right, we have a house with the sun in the sky and a tree next to it. Yep. So they all lived together happily ever after, very happy to be in a picture. The end. So I just love how that story uses all these shapes and then you use your imagination and you imagine what it is. And I know of a book that does something kind of similar. It's a really fun book. It's called Not a Box by Antoinette Portis. Yeah, so today I'm gonna to, uh, show you kind of the story that happens in, in this book. Um, we're not gonna do all of it, but you'll see kind of what it's like. And so you can check out the book if you're interested in seeing all the ideas in the book. But what the book does is it talks about a box. Now a box is a shape, right? This one, what shape is this again? Four sides, all the same. Yep, this is a square. Yeah, this is a square. And I have another one down here. Let's see, this one, what shape do we have here? We still have four sides, but they're not all the same. So this one, you remember that word? Rectangle, that's right, this one's a rectangle. So we have these boxes and I have my friend Spot. This is my friend Spot, he's a doggy. Hi Spot, how you doing? Nice to see you. Oh, Spot's just going, Spot, what, what are you doing, Spot? Spot, why, why are you climbing? Why are you climbing up on top of that box? Spot, what are you doing? Oh, he says it's not a box. It's a mountain. He climbed up on top of the mountain. That's really cool. I get it. Yeah. Well, yeah. So you're absolutely right, Spot. It can be anything you want. Wait. Oh, what? Huh? You're going. Okay. Where are you going now? Spot, what? Why are you sitting in a box? It's not a box? I get it. It's a car. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay, let me try spot. I get it. Let's see. Um, what do you think? Why am I wearing a box, you say? It's not a box. It's a hat. What do you think? Thanks. Yeah, okay, let's try another one. Mm, how about this? Oh, we can do this together, ready? Yeah, here we go, ready? What are we making our box be now? Can you guess? Here. That's right, it's a drum, it's not a box, it's a drum. Yeah, so that is the way you can use your imagination to make a box be just about anything. And if you wanna hear a lot more ideas what a box could be, this book is a great place to start. Yeah, all right. And you know, I just wanna, before, um, before we end for the day, I wanted to, it reminded me doing that drumming Reminded me of one of my favorite um, rhythm uh, rhythm games, and I, I hope you'll do it along with me. So what we do is we're going to just get some rhythm, and I'm going to show you what to do, and you can do uh, can do it along with me at home. So it goes like this: Let's get the rhythm of the knees. Let's get the rhythm of the knees. Let's get the rhythm of the knees, if you please. Let's get the rhythm of the knees. 
Let's get the rhythm of the shoulders. Let's get the rhythm of the shoulders. Let's get the rhythm of the shoulders, big boulders. Let's get the rhythm of the shoulders. Let's get the rhythm of the head. Let's get the rhythm of the head. Let's get the rhythm of the head. Oh, dread. Let's get the rhythm of the head. Let's get the rhythm of the feet. Let's get the rhythm of the feet. Let's get the rhythm of the feet. How neat. Let's get the rhythm of the feet. And once more, let's get the rhythm of the knees. Let's get the rhythm of the knees. Let's get the rhythm of the knees, if you please. Let's get the rhythm of the knees. Well, thank you for joining in. And I'm so glad you could be here with me today for story time. We are just about out of time though, so it's time now to do a goodbye song. And a goodbye song is just like the hello song, except instead of hello, friends, we're now gonna say goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye.